Today I'm going to show you what to do with a butternut squash. They can look a little intimidating, but they're really easy to prepare. And I'm going to show you a few different ways. They're a great alternative to a white potato. They've been shown in many studies to help diabetics to help to regulate that blood sugar. So they're a great option to add into a healthy diet. So I have two butternut squashes here. They come in different sizes. Um, you can just pick what you want. But the first one I'm going to show you, what we're going to do is I have to say you need a good quality knife. A good quality knife is key. It makes cooking easy and quick and safe. So we're going to cut off the top. Just stick it in a bowl. And we're going to cut off the bottom. And look at that gorgeous orange color. You know that's good for you. Okay. And then we're going to cut it in half. So this is why a good knife is important. It gets right through that. And then we're going to scoop out the seeds. The seeds are actually very nutritious and you can use them the same as you would um, pumpkin seeds. So you can roast them in the oven at 160, 170 degrees. Um, you can toss them in a little coconut oil, salt and pepper, and they are delicious. But today, there you go. So you just scoop out the seeds just like a pumpkin. So we've got that one. Let me do the second one. Whoops. So these are really high in antioxidants and omegas. So who knew that they were high in omegas? So they're really good at fighting inflammation as well. So after you've got all that out of there. All you're using is a spoon for that. I love, the butternut squash have kind of a, a sweet flavor to them, so I love to use coconut oil. It really kind of complements, a good quality coconut oil kind of complements that sweet flavor and adds a lot of good healthy fat to it. So I just put a little on my hands like that and then just coat it. And I do the outside and the inside with just a little coconut oil. Wash my hands here. And then all we're going to do is we're going to preheat the oven for about 400, 425, anywhere in between there. And we're going to put them upside down on a cookie sheet with parchment paper is best. And that's it. That's all you do for about 45 minutes or so. So that's the easiest way um, to prepare a butternut squash. And when you're done, you let them cool a little after you take it out of the oven, and then you'll be able to flip them over and you can scoop out the, the flesh and kind of mash it up. You can put a little maple syrup if you want to be extravagant. A little, little uh, butter, salt, and pepper is really good. And it can be a great side dish. Or you can throw it into a soup and make a pureed butternut squash soup. So that is an option. Then, with the other butternut squash, I'm going to show you how to dice up the butternut squash. Okay, so you can um, do the same thing. You're going to cut off the top and cut off the bottom. And these have actually, the butternut squash have been shown to prevent cancer. So, oh, so I don't want to do that. I'm doing it the so right where it's indented, I usually cut it in half. There we go. And then I just take my knife and I go along the side. Whoops. I go along the side and just start getting the skin off. You can actually take, I want to show you actually how easy it is. You can take a peeler and you can peel it, but I, I don't know. I don't like doing it this way. It takes a little longer for me. But you can see it, the skin really isn't that thick. It looks more intimidating than it is. But I like just taking my knife and going along the side and getting the skin off. So after we get all this skin off, we can cube it up. And it's so delicious. My favorite way to make them 
is to again toss it in olive oil, or uh, I'm sorry, coconut oil, and roast it. And it caramelizes that sweet flavor. So this is the bottom of it. We're going to scoop out the seeds again. And again, we can use these seeds. We can roast them. And this one is more fibrous than many of them are. So I think what I'm going to do, if you guys have one of those grapefruit skin or grapefruit spoons, which I think I have in here, here we go. It has kind of the, uh, makes it the little teeth on it that help to get it out a little easier because this one's really fibrous. That other one was pretty easy. So this is real life, folks. <laughs> sometimes you get more fibrous ones and sometimes they're a little easier to scoop out. But a little of that flesh won't hurt you. But it's not the greatest texture, so you really want to try to scoop that really well. Okay. So let me do this other one too. We'll leave that one for later. So again, we're going to, oh yeah, go along the outside and get all of that light skin off so we can get into the good flesh. And really, the butternut squash is something that's so good in the fall and the winter. It fills you up. It's hot. Um, you know, you can use it as a potato substitute. And it's just so satisfying. Okay, so, whoops. Forgot to take that sticker off. And then just go along if you've missed any. Looks pretty good in the bottom. And just always cut away from you. It's the safest way to do that. So there we go. So that is skinning the butternut squash. So then, again, we're going to cut that in half. And let me wash my hands real quick. It's getting a little slippery. And then we're just going to cube it up into about one inch cubes. As I said, you can roast them, um, and you can also steam them. The steaming one-inch cubes takes only about seven minutes, and so I'll show you two different options. So you can just cube it up like that into any size that you want. And that's another advantage of having this long knife. It looks a little scary, but you can get up and over the uh, butternut squash and it makes it efficient for for cutting it so it's that rocking motion that makes it quick and easy we'll do this as well so you can do any size you want But one inch squares, about this size, usually cook up pretty quickly. Okay, so, so there's the beautiful butternut squash. Um, option number one, you can use just a steamer and just put about an inch or two of water in there. And you can throw your butternut squash in there and put a, a lid on it and put it on the stove for about five to seven minutes and it'll get nice and soft. If you cook it too long, it gets mushy, which isn't usually a, a good, um, you know, taste for the most part, unless you're gonna mash it and kind of make it like mashed potatoes. Or you can roast it, which is my favorite. And all I do for roasting, well, I already use my pan, but um, I just take a bowl and I toss it in some coconut oil or use any oil that you like and sprinkle a little salt and pepper and it's delicious and it kind of caramelizes that butternut squash and um, intensifies the sweet flavor. Kids love this. So a nutritious meal for kids, this is a great side, um, kind of like a substitute for fries or something like that. So definitely add some butternut squash into your diet and remember to um, 
add a wide variety of fruits and vegetables into your diet so you can be healthy. So now you're eating with purpose.